Good evening everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to 2021. I know that it's probably not starting off how any of us imagined that you would start or end for that matter but I think that hopefully now everything is kind of on the up and things are going to start going back to normal anyway but it's been a wonderful wonderful few weeks off. I have thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed just lounging in front of the fire and I've been watching copious episodes of Downton Abbey. I am absolutely hooked. It's just lovely. I love watching it. I love watching all of these kind of like historical programs at the moment and I find them fascinating in terms of like understanding more about history and the events like at the moment we're going through we're going through like I'm actually there we've actually found the lady who owns what is Downton Abbey on Instagram by the way as well who's amazing but uh, they're currently going through the Spanish flu pandemic which is very very interesting considering what we're going through at the moment if you like the crown you'll probably like uh, Downton so yeah Anyway, the fire is crackling behind me because I have cozied up to do a video that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy doing and I thoroughly enjoy watching. Now this is the point in the video where I don't make a disclaimer but I do say that if these videos are not for you, if you don't like seeing what people got for Christmas and you don't like seeing people's gifts or people being happy for that matter, <laughs> then this is not the video for you. So please do click off because you're just gonna wind yourself up and that's what I don't want and you don't want and I don't need that and you don't need that. So make sure you do click off the video now. Ali and I decided that we were gonna go all out this year. I think that we both just had one of those those times I think we've all felt it and so we really really did spoil each other and his family have spoiled me so much as well they are always so generous so there's lots to show you so as you can see we have some orange pieces in here I actually also have one gift that I haven't opened I've mixed in some brand stuff as well so just to sort of let you know but I'll let you know what they are because there were some really really lovely things that were sent to me from brands and I'm such a child that I love to save everything and and unbox it on Christmas Day even though that's probably not what they want because they probably want me to show it to you in the hope that you'll buy something for Christmas I am a child and I like lots and lots of things to uh, unbox we spent Christmas just the two of us and Lumi and we had such a wonderful day we'd gone to Waitrose and literally just bought so much food and we had a lovely roast dinner and we had um, a beautiful cheese board. We had our usual salmon and uh, scrambled eggs in the morning with a big glass of orange juice and I drank champagne all day. I think at the moment, champagne is just all I want to drink. It is so lovely. I can just drink it all night and I don't ever feel like groggy. I just, I love it. It's my favorite. Anyway, that was our Christmas, it was wonderful and it was actually really nice to just spend it the two of us and chill and we watched the Rold and Beatrix like video thing, unfortunately I missed the end of it but I loved it. I was obsessed with Beatrix Potter growing up, uh, I used to make my mum draw me scenes from the Taylor of Gloucester which was probably one of my favourite ones, um, I used to make her draw me the mice and I would colour them in because she was really good at art, I'm not good at art at all. Anyway, I'm totally rambling on here, let's get into what is the most eagerly awaited but also probably the most controversial video to start off the year with, but I hope you enjoy it and I'd love to know what you got for Christmas and what you enjoyed this Christmas season and what you're looking forward to in 2021 as well. I've got lots of videos coming up around that topic so um, I will get into the gifts first and foremost. I'm gonna go straight in with a brand piece that came in that I popped straight under the tree. This was from the Bulgari team and this was a ring that I have been in love with for such a long time. I've actually been wearing it since. So a lot of these items I've put off wearing, but this one I couldn't put off wearing. This is their Bulgari uh, ring. Let me get up close to you. So this is a rose gold Bulgari ring and this is one of the more simple ones but I really really fell in love with this and I've wanted it for such a long time and so this goes perfectly with all of my like jewellery that I wear pretty much every single day obviously I worked with uh, Bulgari and I work with them regularly on their most recent campaign and um, so it was really like quite special to to receive this and the moment they arrived and I unboxed it I was wearing it straight away much like my Tiffany jewelry as well so that was that so I've already started wearing that so it's really really lovely these are the pieces that I actually haven't opened so this was sent from the Maison Christian Dior team 
and again I put it under the tree but I left it at the back and so I didn't realise I hadn't opened something and so I thought I could save this one and open it with you in this video because what I was going to do was film actual Christmas Day because I thought what better time to film Christmas Day than when it's just the two of us but I was having such a wonderful time that I didn't <laughs> but here is one that I can unbox with you oh oh don't tell me I need to go and get my cheese cutter come on you can do it Lydia you can do it oh we could just no we're not going to do that either aha there we go I love the Dior boxes so much oh wow so we've got a lovely little dust bag oh my what oh my wow oh goodness okay I was not expecting this at all Oh, is this like a passport wallet? But also it has your cards in it as well. Wow, that's the um, monogram version. Wow, I love this. I was totally, totally not expecting this, but something that I will absolutely use. Oh, wow, thank you so much. And then we have another little one. Oh my gosh, how bougie. So we have a Christian Dior nail file. So this is everything I'm sure we're going to need in order to keep our nails looking good whilst we kind of like fluctuate between these tiers. <gasps> oh, this is just stunning. I love a glittery tip at this time of year and this is absolutely perfect. We've got the gentle polish remover with apricot care concentrate we've got cream for nails base coat and top coat as well so i've got everything i need to sort my nails out that's very sweet and then oh my gosh oh my gosh i keep saying that i said that during vlogmas as well this is from the like the maison christian dior collection and look at this packaging it is honestly so beautiful you could frame that i love how it's kind of like celestial and beautiful oh love it and then we have a very very stunning my goodness i don't think i've ever seen anything so beautiful christian dior box wow oh my goodness i don't think i've ever smelled this one this is lucky oh wow that's beautiful do you know what that's really lovely because it's not it's not quite as oody. I don't always do great with oud fragrances. However, the Maison Christian Dior collection is the ones that I get on with the best. But this is completely different. It's really beautiful and fresh. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I really like that. And then we've got the little version as well in here. And you can, oh, cheers. <laughs> got the little handbag size as well, which is really handy because I, I love those big bottles for display. And then we've got the cream, the body cream to match, which is probably one of the most indulgent body creams ever. And then we have the, I mean, I'm, is it Thay Osmanthus? Wow. It smells like honey, but like, you know, the honeycombs, if you've ever smelt a honeycomb, that is what that smells like. If you ever get anything made out of kind of like honeycomb, the wax that's, that's made, that's kind of put over the honeycombs. I like that different but I, I really like it oh well well that was very very lovely so thank you so much to the christian dior team and the maison christian dior team as well because that was just oh the cards wow oh that is the most beautiful christmas card ever i didn't even see that there was a card in there thank you very very much for that very unexpected <laughs> That was from the Dior team. Then from the Chalk Pink Linen team, I received this vintage Dom Perignon and it's the rosé version. Wow, this went straight in the fridge. I haven't touched it yet. I think I'm gonna save this one particularly for New Year's. If you don't know, Chalk Pink Linen is a really like beautiful small brand that I've supported for years now. And we have all of their beautiful bed linen on our beds and I just love them. I absolutely love the lady that owns it as well. She's so sweet. So it was really, really wonderful to receive a little gift from them because I love champagne. Yeah, let's get into the gifts that I got from my friends and family. So first up, I feel like I get one of these every single year. This is from my father-in-law and my stepmother-in-law. And um, this is the winter candle from the White Company. I will probably have this burnt before the end of the week because I still continue to use the White Company winter fragrance throughout winter and then change it up for spring. So this will definitely be getting burnt on my, on my kitchen island, my kitchen island. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just ignoring the orange boxes at the moment. Um, oh, so from my best friend Carrie, I have some cooking lessons with some like chefs from the area. Basically, I'm going to be learning how to make like the best roast dinner, but we're doing it in my kitchen, and so I'm really excited to to do that because I think it'll be really good fun. Maybe I'll vlog it. Who knows? And she also got me from Bolly. I got a subscription to the Gardener's World magazine, which is fabulous because it's got my 2021 calendar in there. If you didn't see on my Instagram, I did harvest some of my first ever carrots and I am incredibly proud. <laughs> so I am going to very much enjoy reading through this. I love magazine subscriptions because they just always give me something new to read, whether I'm just sat on the sofa or relaxing in front of the fire. I love them. So thank you very much to my fur nephew for that one. From Ali's brother and his partner, I got this book. This is a cookbook for cooking with honey. So if you don't know, Ali and I have have a beehive in the garden. It's not a working beehive yet. It takes time to, to get it working. Um, but hopefully when we do finally get some bees and some honey produced, I'll be able to start cooking with our own honey, which is very, very exciting. Uh, they also got me a really beautiful selection of teas. I love tea. So that was very, very thoughtful from them. Oh, this was another little brand gift, which I thought was lovely. You would have seen me put this under my tree in Vlogmas. Uh, this was from the Farfetch team and I got some Isabel Moron mittens which are just adorable. They will live in my wicker baskets in my boot room. That's where I keep all of my gloves so that if ever I'm going out into the cold I'm able to reach them really really quickly. And they also got me an apron which I thought is just such a wonderful gift <laughs> because anyone that knows me knows I love an apron and I've got quite the collection now and this one has got beautiful little trees all over it and it's from a brand called it's available on Farfetch Led I don't even know how to say it I apologize I'm gonna put it in the um <laughs> in the description box down below Le Doublege it's a multi multitasking Milanese brand that unearths rare vintage creates new clothing with archival prints and reveals the secret of Italian, I don't even know how to say that word, the fantastical fairy godmothers of the city's sought after culture. Oh, I love that. That's so wonderful. And I just think that's someone that obviously, like you get a lot of people in the industry that like they work with you, but they don't like watch your stuff. You know that someone watches your stuff when something is that thoughtful. <laughs> I got lots of stuff for my kitchen garden. So yes, this was from Carrie's mum. Um, this is Bob's Basics, sewing, planting, watering, and feeding. So, and she also sent me some seeds as well. So we've got some wildflower seeds, some foxgloves, and some cosmos, which I will 110% be planting at some point. And then from my assistant D, I got more stuff from my garden. I couldn't believe how wonderful this is. This has my house name on it. <laughs> Um, but it also says the um, head gardener here, which is wonderful. And um, I love the fact that it's got the, the little copper metal to it as well. This is to help me with planting my seeds and knowing how deep to go with them. Um, also for spacing, I've got a little ruler as well, which I thought was so wonderful. It says two inches for peas, three inches for onions, four inches for beetroots. Love that. Um, I've also got some labels, which I honestly, I want to get some more of these. I've got tomatoes. Um, and leeks, radishes, cucumbers, potatoes, green beans, lettuce, and carrots. My assistant Dee is one of those people that just is so good at doing thoughtful gifts, and she absolutely smashed it with these. She also got me some planting kits, which these are cactuses, and I've also got um, a bonsai tree as well, which I think is beautiful really really beautiful so that's everything that is in there oh this was a gift that i've already been tucking into this is before and after getting your puppy this was sent to me from my friend dan and his wife katie they live in california and he's probably one of my oldest friends but he moved out there years ago and married her um, and they got a dog recently i think they got some kind of i think it was like a husky dog or something like that anyway they sent us this and a dog toy of california uh lumi has already taken full ownership of that toy. She loves it. But I've been reading this book and honestly, I think it's absolutely incredible. Um, I'm only sort of a couple of chapters in. I've already written all over it and earmarked loads of places. It's just really, really kind of been helping me 
get more to grips with understanding training and making sure that we're making the right decisions because I'm sure you would have seen Ali and I kind of be a little bit sort of confused and worried about getting it right and what's best for the dog and blah 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 but this has really helped us especially with understanding how to feed and and just the right sort of boundaries to have in place for the, for the puppy so very excited for that now we're on to the gifts from my husband which is really exciting and he really did just go completely overboard i was like you've really spoiled me this year he was like i haven't they're just silly little things no these are not silly little things he got me some really really oh, wonderful and thoughtful gifts so to start off he got me uh, this is the meter so i really wanted to get a meat thermometer so this is the meter as you know i don't cook meat at home ali and i aren't vegetarians and we mainly would eat a vegetarian diet because i won't prepare meat however one thing i do want to learn how to do like i'm learning is to do a good roast because i really like having sunday roasts and i would really love to be able to do them myself so we're still not going to be eating loads and loads of meat and we definitely always buy dairy free and vegetarian alternatives when we can but it is something that i want to learn i want to get over my fear as well because i have got a bit of a silly fear about eating meat that i've prepared myself so he got me this now this from what i understand is sort of the the number one in terms of um meat thermometers and so i'm really really excited to give this a try so he got me that as well and he got me which i think is really wonderful this is a coravin model six wine preservation system now my friends sam and alex got me in fact let me go get it because that's another one of my gifts oh so my friends Sam and Alex got me this, which will preserve your red wine for a further two weeks. So if you open a bottle, you pop it into here and it preserves it for a further two weeks because I'm the kind of person that if I open a bottle of wine, I'm not likely to finish it on that night. I will have like a glass and that's kind of it. And all of the good bottles of wine always come in big bottles. So I thought that was really helpful and just such a thoughtful gift considering I am absolutely loving wine at the moment. And then my husband got me this one, which is the Coravin Model 6 Wine Preservation System. So this one's slightly different. So this one can actually go in the lid of the um, bottle that you've opened and it releases a special gas into the bottle and it preserves it for what does it say preserves wine for years so this is like the next level of wine preservation thing so I thought that was really handy so if I've got like a really expensive bottle of wine and I want to have a glass of it and I don't want to finish the whole thing like recently we opened a bottle of chocolate block and we couldn't we couldn't drink it quick enough and I was really sad about that so I would have loved to have had this then and still have that bottle of wine <laughs> So that was such a thoughtful gift as well. Also, we are loving hot chocolate at the moment. You would have seen throughout uh, Vlogmas. That was basically all we were drinking. So Ali also got me the Velvetizer. And finally, we are on to the Pièce de Résistance. This was um, like my big, big Christmas present. And I feel like that's kind of what, what Ali and I do. We tend to get each other big Christmas presents or like special Christmas presents and then lots of little bits that we sort of listen out for throughout the year really like thoughtful gifts and um i honestly last year i didn't know what i wanted and i remember telling you guys about it that he got me the cartier pen which was just the most lovely thing ever and i think it arrived late actually did it arrive late i remember opening it with you guys anyway I wasn't really sure what I wanted this year and then I was searching online for riding boots and you would have seen that I picked up the Prada ones as part of my Farfetch campaign and whilst I was searching for them this pair of boots popped up and the moment I saw them I was like oh my goodness I've actually never seen anything that I've wanted from this brand so much in all my life and I, I said to Ali I was like would you go go halves with me on these boots from Hermes. And he was like, I'm just going to get them for you. And so I thought that was very nice. <laughs> I offered. Anyway, so I saw the Hermes jumping boots online and we were just gonna order them online. And then we checked and they were only in stock in store. So what we had to do was reserve them and go down to London to pick them up. I wanted to try them on anyway because I didn't realize that Hermes doesn't do refunds. So if you buy something very, very expensive from them and you don't like it, you cannot take it back for a refund. You have to either exchange it or live with it. <laughs> and so I wanted to try these on. I ended up getting the size five, which is my, my true size. And these are 
probably the most beautiful boots I think I have ever seen in my life. I just, the moment I put them on, I was like, yeah, this is, this is exactly what I want. And it was really nice actually, because we went into the store and it's quite an intimidating store to go into. And I think I've spoken about this before, but I've like, it's not been a brand that I've been hugely into. However, I, when I saw these, I was like, it's not about the brand, it's about the product. And I really just liked the product. And so, we put the boots on hold, we went down to London together and I went into the store and it was really nice because I had something on hold so it felt like we were going in there with a purpose, not just like to browse and look awkward in the store. Because I was expecting it to be a pretty horrible experience, I'm not gonna lie. Then when I went into the store, we had a gentleman called Cal who helped us pretty much immediately and he was really brilliant, like so patient with me and really kind of took the time to let me understand processes and things like that. I actually ended up putting together my bag wish list as well, which was such an experience in itself. But it, I think it was because I enjoyed the process whilst I was there. I didn't feel like I was taking too much time or wasting anyone's time. We had champagne and we sat down and we went through everything. I tried on boots. I even tried on this beautiful cape that um, was so expensive. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was like five grand for a cape. I was like, <laughs> but I ended up settling on these and I got them and I love them and I haven't worn them yet because I am absolutely petrified, but I wanted to show them to you. For me, they just really fit with my style at the moment and I love boots, really well-made, good quality boots. And this style of boot just doesn't ever go out of fashion. And so I am very very excited to wear these obviously i don't have the bag to match and i would usually kind of go for a bag to match the boots i think i did put it down on my wish list but for the time being i thought i would get something to kind of tie everything in and i love my waist belts and i don't have a skinny waist belt and it's definitely something that i have uh, wanted even though i love my alexander mcqueen one it's one for standing up in, it's not one for sitting down in. <laughs> it can be quite uncomfortable. Whereas the slimmer waist belts tend to work really, really well. So I got the Kelly 18 belt, which is such a brilliant design because it's completely adjustable to your own waist. So you don't have to worry about having holes put in it or anything like that. It's really, really convenient. And so I got that to go with the boots. They've both got the palladium hardware on them and so I actually put my wish list together and I put my name down for either a 25 or a 28 black Kelly with the grain leather, palladium hardware. I mean, I would prefer the 28. As much as I love small bags, I think that the, the 28 would probably be better. But anyway, I, I put it together and it was such an experience. And I actually really enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. We both did. We both really did enjoy it. And so, those are my first kind of proper Hermes pieces, I guess, because I've actually never been into an Hermes store. I've been to the ones that like Heathrow, which they're not the same experience, I don't think. Whereas this was really lovely and there was even like some subscribers in there, which was just bizarre and lovely in, in the same respect. And so, yeah. So anyway, that was just a lovely, lovely Christmas basically. And I have put off pretty much wearing everything because I wanted to show you guys first and also let you know about the experience with this because I feel like you were all so excited when you saw that I was in Hermes. Even Ali was like, wow, I've never had so many messages because he did a story of me in Hermes. I was pleasantly surprised and didn't feel like a knob going in. I'm sure that there are times when you do and you think that there are people that have had really awful experiences in there, but I actually, I did enjoy it and I didn't feel sort of out, out of place, if that makes sense. There are some other bits that I want as well. I quite like to get the Hermes gloves with the little lock on them. I thought they were really lovely because I want to get some smart gloves because I don't have any smart gloves. I've all, like all of my gloves are really cosy, but I think it's always good to have a pair of smart leather, leather gloves. So I'd quite like to get those as well. And maybe some more of these belts, like a tan version of this belt, but Anywho, that is what I got for Christmas and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button. I do two videos a week, which they are on Mondays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. UK time. I would love to see you back here for more videos and I would love to hear how your Christmases were. I feel like I've missed you guys so much. So please do let me know in the comments how your Christmases were. I know that there will be some that weren't so great and some that were absolutely wonderful. However your Christmas was, I hope that you are okay, I hope that you are well, and I'm sending you all of the love that I have. 
I'm excited for the new year and the changes that I am going to make. I always like fresh starts. So if you love a fresh start too, you will like it here. And um, I'll hopefully see you back here for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.